Hey everyone, I am back and it is book review 2. So, a little more on the lighthearted from our last book review. This is an actual book review this time. And our book today is by our lovely friend John Grisham. If you've seen any of my reading through grandmother's playlist, reading through grandmother's books playlist, um, I had a few John Grisham books. I'm all done with that playlist, but I am exploring in the library now and I saw John Grisham and I thought hey why not so this is Calico Joe um it's it's a different book uh if you know anything about John Grisham or you've seen any of my videos a lot of his books are written on the law um trials anything to do with that subject matter supreme court etc cetera, etc cetera. Calico Joe is really different from that it is about baseball um, it's about this kid, Paul, and his father is a baseball player that made it to the major leagues and played for some different teams. And then during this time, Paul's a, a child, and besides making it to the major leagues, there's also this guy now called Joe. Um, and Joe is another baseball player, and he plays for the Cubs. And it's very, it's very interesting because his name is Joe Castle. Um, he's from something rock, sorry. Um, places are made up and I can't remember things. <laughs> um, he's from Calico Rock, Arkansas. And obviously, Cubs are from Chicago, so he's not playing for the home team. But he's in the minor leagues, I believe it is what they verify as. Um, baseball terminology is not my strong suit, bear with me. He's in the minor leagues, and the Cubs start to have some injuries. So they bring him in, you know, and they don't think anything of it. And then all of a sudden in a game, he just has this surprising record. He just, his first hit, it's a home run. Second hit's like a home run. And he starts making all these records in, like, quick time. So people take notice of him. And, you know, they talk about in the book how Arkansas, everyone's like, oh, well, he's our, he's our kid, you know, he came from here but we're not, you know, Cubs fans, and then it's like the end of one game. They're like, who cares? <laughs> you know, we got to support our kid. And it's interesting, and Paul is this young boy, and he's watching this, and his dad also has a bad background. You know, dad's, dad's abusive to mom, um, sometimes to him. Thankfully, not to his little sister, I believe. Um, but he's abusive, he gets drunk a lot, his parents are fighting a lot on the road. He's always, you know, very unfaithful to his wife. Doesn't really spend time with the kids. And when he does, a lot of times it's with Paul. And Paul also plays in the Little League at, in his hometown. And so dad's not really, dad's not a supportive father. He's more of a, you should have done this, you should have done that. Um, but on a larger scale because of his abusiveness. And... Paul is obsessed with baseball when he's a little kid. He is so obsessed, and he's he puts together scrapbooks on his favorite players, and he gets all this going, and it's just amazing. And when Calico Joe or Joe Castle comes along, Paul and his friends are just like, this kid is crazy. Like, the world takes notice of this guy. And so they're always putting stuff together. Um, they're just, you know, they're going for it, and... It's an interesting, it's an interesting book. It's not like, oops, sorry for shaking the computer there. It's not super like, oh, I can't put it down. I just, I finished it quickly because I had a lot of time on my hands, and it was an interesting enough read that I could keep going through it. Again, it's very different from Grisham's other work. But um, in its own right, it is interesting. And it reminds me a little bit of The Painted House because the boy in that story, you know, was into baseball a little bit, so that was cool, um, and I can see the connection, but the big thing is that besides this boy, Paul, you know, his stuff, this is in the past you find out, and Paul is looking back on these years, and they hint at something, something terrible that happened between his father and Joe, and you start, as you start learning more about um, Paul's past and his father, you start to put the pieces together, and you're thinking, oh my goodness, and, you know, I came up with, I think I always go for the worst at first. Um, and so I just sit there and I was like, oh, no, 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 no. And I'm like, oh, he's going to die. Is this going to happen? Somebody's going to get hurt. Um, 
and then in the future you learn that you learn some things and you hear about what's happened recently, like the reporters that always reported on Joe, like what happened and then you don't know, like you think Paul's going in one place and then all of a sudden he's at somewhere else and he's talking to this person and it takes you a little bit or it took me a little bit to connect the dots and I was like, Oh, this is interesting and then you find out what Paul's trying to do, um, and you learn like about Joe more, you learn about the father, especially like past father to today father, and you sit there and you're like, can he even do this? And you know, you start to see this plan form in Paul's mind and you learn about the back and you can't tell like, sometimes I found that when we were in the past I really wanted to be in the future and I wanted to like know what was going on and then when we were in the future I was like, wait, what is going on? Go back to the past, like tell me what's going on, like how did this happen? Um, so it's very interesting in that respect, so out of my 1 to 5 scale, I give it a 3, 3.5. Um, it wasn't like I'd race out to get that book, but it wasn't, again, I've read worse. And, you know, I think it's, it's good for authors to be able to step out and do something different, and I like that John Grisham takes a step out, and it's not another book on the Supreme Court, a book on a trial lawyer, a book on a suspect. I like that we're branching out pretty far, and it's interesting. So, I would say it's a pretty good book. You like John Grisham, but you want a different taste of him, go for Calico Joe. Um, I think he does, he does a good job with it, considering that he's, he doesn't really write about sports as much, from what I know of, um, of what I've read. So, it's interesting, there's a plot, there's a story, and the way he slowly unravels it is nice, and the way that he keeps you, like, hooked on it is good. So, um, again, John Grisham, Calico Joe, you want to check it out, Baseball, America's Favorite Pastime, People, not sure where I threw that one out there, but it's there. So, uh, take a look, see what you got. Um, have a good day, guys, this is my last review. Hope you're all enjoying this lovely Monday. Um, I am. <laughs> So I will get some more reviews out to you super soon. Okay? Bye.